New York State has adopted the EdTPA Teacher Performance Assessment as an exit requirement for all teachers seeking certification. Consequently, we've integrated the language and expectations into the MAT program starting as early as teaching and learning. As in all good instruction, the student learning is at the center, and we will be looking at how you can plan for good instruction and assessment, including the use of proper academic language as a cornerstone to your lesson development. As evident in the schematic from the National Science Education Standards, science should be taught as an active process where students start with questions, collect data, develop models and explanations, and apply this to science concepts. Learning science should not be a passive process. In the video that you will complete before you graduate, you will show your students actually in a classroom engaged in science, bringing in their prior knowledge, looking at a phenomenon in the real world, gathering data, and then analyzing this data and having discussions. For instance, if you were going to teach a middle school group physical science, you would start by understanding their culture and environment. And aside from knowing specific students, you might also consider the fact that they would have had experience with amusement parks, and that this could serve as a basis for some small experiments in the classroom that could then lead you to generating data and getting the students to explain what they're seeing using fairly sophisticated academic language. The EdTPA process has evolved from years of study at Stanford. Over the development of the EdTPA process, a number of rubrics and scenarios have involved that can help new teachers. With the EdTPA process, a common language has also evolved, which is helping teachers across the nation to speak and understand the same terminology. The MAT program is integrating the EdTPA's language and approach to help support your best practice teaching.